Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create those thunderstorm effects. This looks pretty cool, and a lot of people were asking from a while how to create this effect. So, yeah, finally, we are here doing this effect. So, without wasting any more time, let's just grab a clip and go over to Tracker and hit Track Camera because we're gonna track the camera first. So, we have the movement on there. I'm gonna go to Advanced and hit Detail Analysis. So so let it do its thing solving camera and after that you can just bring up the size of your points and you can see all of these track points are all over your scene i'm gonna select a track point somewhere around the background like this selecting like this and right click and hit create null null and solid and you can just bring up the scale of the null like that and my track messes up right here because his hands come right here but i think we can just make the lightning effect until here here only so we won't have a lot of issue in there so let's just trim my clip till here so you can get a better idea and super quick i just want to let you guys know that i just launched my ultimate grunge bundle the ultimate grunge bundle allows you to add those crazy grungy aesthetic to your music video that you see every everywhere right now it comes with 60 plus assets in it and in my website there's an insane bundle going on it you are really getting like 27 dollar off on it so hurry up and grab the pack right now the link will be in the description let's get back into the video you, then you can just hide your track solid and in the description you will find a thunder sky overlay let's just drag it into our clip too into our project i mean and just drag it into your scene and just drag it in a composition now and make it a 3d layer too now pull up this position of your track solid and pull up the position of your thunderstorm too you can hit p to bring up the position if you don't already know then you can select the position and just copy it on the track solid and just paste it by ctrl v on your footage and as you can see your track solid will be gone something around here so you can just scale it up like that and you'll have your thunderstorm tracked into your footage you can just push it a bit further too so it doesn't have any much movement in it so let's just scale it up shift when you're scaling up so it scales up fast yeah this track is perfect now so let's just hide our thunder layer for now and duplicate our footage layer and put it above all of our layers and selecting my pencil now we're gonna start masking out him mask out our subject after your rotoscoping is done you can just hit freeze to freeze it so it locks in all the rotoscope and stuff after you're done rotoscoping if you enable your layer you can see our thunderstorm is behind our subject which is exactly what we want so now we'll start putting in our thunder in there so let's just bring it up into our sky first like about there mm, like that mm let's put it around here then you're gonna add like a curves now and lower down the black and bring up the white a bit lower down the black and you can add like a hue and saturation and lower down the saturation on like about there you can also play a mess with the hue to get it to your look of your footage if your scene is red you can turn it into red but my in my case my footage is a lot blue so let's just keep it at least and to remove the blacks we're gonna hit child switches and modes and just set the blending mode to screen or you can also mess with linear doors i guess it looks pretty cool too after that your lighting will be happening on the scene as you can see but sometimes this will be clipping on the edges like this to fix that you can just scale up your clip more like around here and you can add like a marks like that and and bring up the feather of it so the clipping is not visible that much and if you also want to put it behind your trees you can bring up your background layer which is, which is this one as you can see and and add like a luma key in it luma key and make it key out brighter and start messing with the threshold so the whole sky is gone mm, you can play with the feather too after that duplicate it and remove the luma key from the 
another one and put it at bottom again so it should pretty much fix your problem as you can see but this method doesn't work with every footage you gotta like marks out in most of the footage too so make sure your footage is perfect for this let's just duplicate the lighting now and just move it a bit further and put it around here but i'm gonna put it before my luma key layer so the luma key doesn't disturb our this layer and put it at the top like try to drop it all off you're gonna add an adjustment layer and add exposure in it and hit the keyframe on the exposure and right away the lightning happens you can just bring up the exposure of your clip overall clip so we'll also have those flash effect with it uh do those for all your lighting effects so right here we can just bring up the amount again and go a bit further set it to zero and over here too so you can bring up the exposure and keep it to zero again and i'm gonna do that in the beginning lighting too so and lastly you're gonna add like a curse color gradient clip a bit like a simple x curve will do it and you can pair it with some sound effect and my final result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys hope you like the video if you like the video please consider hitting the like button and you can also hit the subscribe button which helps me to make more videos like this and you can also follow me on instagram if you want i keep dropping short form content in there so yeah see you in the next video peace